Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another example based on the precious beam with a bent tendon. So already in the previous lectures, I also explained the concept related to the precious beam with bent tendons. I also solved one example which is exactly passing through the centroidal axis and is bent with some 100 mm like that. But here if you observe what happens at the end, it has some the tendon will be placed at some eccentricity at the end. Okay, this is the different. So I will explain this model and I will also show the difference. So if the tendon will be coming from top side, you will get a plus symbol and bottom side it will be negative symbol. So while explaining the pro problem itself, I will explain what is the difference also. So see here, first write down the given data. So what is the given data? You see the question. Shows a precious concrete beam provided with a bent tendon. The beam carries a point load of 160 kN at the center. So which is given point load will be equal to 160 kN at the center. Then determine the stress distribution for the end section. So they are asking end section stress distribution. And the mid span, mid section of the beam. The dead load of the beam is 6 kN per meter. If they are giving dead load, we are taking like this. If they are not given, what we are doing? B into D into 1 into unit weight of the concrete. For that, they will definitely given 400 by 600 property like that. So see here, based on this, you can find out the dead load. So already given means no problem. See, whenever precious with bent turned on, we have one formula for finding extreme stresses at the mid-span section. In the previous problem, I showed for the mid-span section. So what is the mid-span section formula? P by A plus or minus M by Z. Okay, and again for M, what we are taking? M will be equal to W L by 4 minus, sorry, plus W L square by 8. So generally, if it will be passing exactly from the centroidal axis. So in the last concept, I will explain that one. So what is that one means? I will show you here. If the beam is passing like this exactly from the centroidal axis. So this is the centroidal axis. The beam will be passed from the center like this. So you won't get any eccentricity here. At that time, you only get moment will be equal to this formula. But here if you observe, it will be passing with some eccentricity which is some 50 mm. At that time, you will get moment, one more moment that is P into E. So force into distance is the moment here. So the bending moment based on the point load and the bending moment based on the UDL. So uh, based on the given dead load and the moment based on the eccentricity of the precessing force. So this is some extra formula what we have to remember in this type of problems. So this is the top. So top to bottom will be plus or minus. And one more thing what I told, if it is placed above, above will be plus, bottom will be negative. So this is the centroidal axis. The tendon will be placed from above the centroidal axis. If it will be placed below the centroidal axis, you can see here. Again, I am showing in this diagram. So this is the cross section of the beam. So this is somewhat centroidal axis. So the tendon will be placed like this with some eccentricity from the bottom below the centroidal axis like some 50 mm. At the time what happened means you will get a minus 2 plus P into E. So just a difference is if it will be placed below the central axis, you will get first minus for the top and plus for the bottom, top fiber, bottom fiber. So if it will be above the central axis, top will be plus, bottom will be negative. So you have to remember this formula and entire things will be same. What about this W? W minus 2P sin theta. So already in the previous example, I explained the concept. First you solve that, see that example 6 then only you can coming to the example 7 then only you will get an idea so how the problem difference is showing clearly okay then you can come from one by one first end section so for end section what is the formula again end section you have to remember this formula extreme stresses will be equal to p by a plus or minus p e by z again here why plus i am talking so because tendon is coming from top above so you will get plus or minus e. If it will be like this, you will get minus plus or minus or plus p by z. So this is the formula what we have to remember. So entire things will be same. First you have to find out the area. Area will be equal to 400 by 600. What is given in the figure? So see here the property of the beam. So we know 4, 6 times 24. 
into 10 to the power of 4 mm square. Then what about z? z equal to i by y, bd cube by 2 wall again d by 2 which is bd square by 6. Again 400 by 600 square by 6. How much you will get if you resolve this one 400 by 600 by 6. So your bd square by 6 will be equal to 24 into 10 to the power of 6. So first you can solve the pre-stressing force one. So I will take here one by one. So first one P by A. So what about this one? P will be given 1000 kilo Newton and A will be in terms of meter square. So which is 24 into 10 to the power of 4 mm square. We know the rule we want this one into Newtons that is 10 to the power of 3 in Newtons. Okay. So therefore if you simplify this one how much you will get a 1000. So P by A value will be equal to 4.1666 so approximately round off to 4.17 Newton per mm square and again go for P by Z P into T by Z so what about P again 1000 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton into E will be eccentricity which is 50 mm divided by Z value will be equal to 24 into 10 to the power of 6 if you simplify the ultimate value, final value you will get here is 4.17 Newton per mm square. That one will be equal to less or minus 2.08 Newton per mm square. And one more thing what you have to remember means the formula is, is resolved here. Basically the formula for this uh, the, that better tendon will be P cos theta by A less or minus P cos theta into E by Z. See here, actually what happens, here theta is being small, therefore we are taking cos theta equal to unity, because I am taking cos theta equal to some cos 0, because of small angle, so ultimately it will be 1, so therefore it will become unity, so p into 1 you will get p by a plus or minus p into 1, that one will be equal to p e by z. So why I already I told this also in the last example only. So if you see that problem then only you will get clear idea what I am doing here. See here. So already we solved this one. So extreme stresses at top will be equal to 4.17 plus 2.08. At bottom will be equal to 4.17 minus 2.08. If you simplify this one 6 approximately 1. So around 6.25 Newton per in mm square. So the value will be 6.25 only, 6.25 Newton per mm square only. Make it correct. And 4.17 minus 2.08 will be equal to 2.09 Newton per mm square. So this is the stresses for the end section. End section. So you, you see the diagram. So already you know cross section of the beam you will get both will be similar and P by A value. So P by A also you will get a uniform. So this is P by A. This is cross section of the beam 400 by 600. Then what are the final stresses? Both are positive because positive means compression. So this is the reference line. You will get a 6.25, 2.09, 6 so like this, so you will get PE by Z also, stresses due to the eccentricity, so I will show you here the exact diagram, what I framed here, so this is the final stresses, what I drawn there, 4.17 cross section of the beam, sorry, P by A, and so this is PE by Z, sorry, PE by Z, and these are the final stresses, P by Z will be 2.08, one will be positive, another will be negative. So here you will make correct this one. So these are the final stresses. These are the final stresses. So what I drawn and P by Z value I am drawing here. One will be positive, another one will be negative. You can draw like this. So this is the exam exact diagram what you have to remember for the final stresses. Okay, then go to the mid span section. So mid span section already we solved 50% problem. Just to see what are the conditions we have to satisfy for the mid-span section. For the mid-span section, what we have to remember means 
see here which section the formula will be p by a plus or minus m by z so this is the only formula again p cos theta here p cos theta equal to p okay then already we know p value a value z value just to first resolve the m m value so m value i told you m value final moment value will be equal to moment due to the given point load plus moment due to the given dead load plus moment due to the eccentricity of the distressing force because here it will be acting at some distance so therefore we are taking m into e see here so what about mp we know mp will be equal to w l by 4 again w will be equal to w minus 2p sin theta by 4 into l so what is w here which is next to downward load is acting that is 160 minus 2 into p value will be 1000 into sin theta so sin theta we know i already told you sin theta will be equal to tan theta because if theta being small i am taking sin 0 will be equal to 0 and tan 0 will be equal to 0 that's why sin theta will be equal to tan theta so tan theta equal to opposite by adjacent sides see the figure then only we will get an idea what is there here See here, I am taking the figure here. So here, the angle will be here, from here to I am taking here. So if up to here it will be 100 and top will be 50. So total 150. So opposite side will be equal to 150 by. So the length of this span, please take down some 6 meters like that. We are solving for 6 meters. Okay, 6 meters, half, half of the span will be 3000. So if you simplify the, this one, you will get a 1 by 20. So therefore tan theta will be equal to 1 by 20. I am taking here divided by 4 into total length of this span will be 6 in meters. So finally if you simplify how much you will get if you simplify all these things you will get 90 kilo newton meter and uh, md will be equal to wl square by 8. So what is given dead load already 6 will be given in that 6 meter span divided by 8. So you will get around 27 kilo newton meter. And me will be equal to p into e so i already told you p will be equal to 1000 into 50 so which is in mm so here we want kilo newton meter so if i want a mm to meter means divided by 1000 simplify this one you will get 50 kilo newton meter so m value will be equal to 90 plus 27 plus 50 totally 90 50 140 167 kilo newton meter so all the values will be there so just to substitute in the above formula m by z then we will get so i want m by z here equal to 167 into 10 to the power of 3 for meter into meter meter to mm 10 to the power of 3 so you will get newton mm divided by z value bd square by 6 that one will be equal to 24 into 10 to the power of 6 mm square okay so simplify this one fix this cancel you will get m by z value will be equal to approximately how much you will get uh, m by z just to simplify so if you simplify m by z value you will get around uh, 6.96 so 6.96 newton per mm square so this is the value for the m by z finally what we have to do so we know extreme stresses at the top will be equal to p by a plus or minus m by z so plus or minus m by z so only top will be plus and bottom will be p by a minus m by z so this is take down for bottom so p by a will be equal to 4.17 plus m by z will be equal to 6.96 here 4.17 minus 6.96 so if you simplify how much you will get this one will be 11.13 newton per mm square which was in compression because of the positive this one will be minus 
0.679 newton per mm square which was in tension so the ultimate value is final stresses open like this positive to negative so th this is 2.79 this is somewhere 11.13 the ordinate will be going somewhere somewhere like this okay i will show you the diagram for that also see here so these are the extreme stress value please remember this one so this is the p by a value which is 4.17 and this is the m by z value which is 6.96 positive or negative and this is the final stresses value 11.13 and 2.79 this is how we have to draw for this uh, type uh, we have to simplify this type of problems i already told you if the tendon will be placing below the centroidal axis for example if this is the centroidal axis and the tendon will be placing like this so at that time what we have to do means p by a minus 2 plus p e by z plus m by z so entire movements will be same here so each and everything after for calculation also easy while solving bending movement also m value will be equal to m d plus m p plus minus m a p into a so what i taken here for this type of models i taken here plus p into a here so so for this type of problems for this type of problems you are taking here minus so you just remember only the basic conditions what we have to do so in this formula i, I mentioned clearly plus m a because the tendon placing above the centroidal axis if it will be below the centroidal axis in place of plus you will get minus entire procedure remains same 